See, that's how spiritual defection and sin occurs. There is a gradual erosion in our life. A little compromise here and there. More and more times skipped spending with God in prayer and reading his word. Growing cynicism toward other people and the things of God. Many times those things are happening apart from the eyes of anybody else. But then our final and sudden fall is spectacular. It's seen by everyone. That's what happened to Solomon. Solomon had started out, remember, when he was named king, he said, Lord, I'm going to serve you with a whole heart, and the only thing I want, not riches, not power, I just want wisdom from you. Remember that? And Solomon, and God was so pleased that he gave him all those other things as well. That's how Solomon started. Unfortunately, it's not how he ended. 1 Kings 11.4 records his downfall. For it came about when Solomon was old. When he was old, not when he was young, when he was old is when he fell away from God. Don't think getting old is any guarantee of godliness. You know, being old doesn't make you godly automatically. Being old doesn't exempt you from sin and temptation. It was when Solomon was old that his wives turned his heart away from other gods and his heart was not wholly devoted to the Lord his God as the heart of David his father had been. You know the tragedy of Solomon's life? There was nobody to call his hand on those small defections that were taking place in his faith. Nobody who cared enough about Solomon to say, you know what? I've noticed something in your life. I love you. I care about you. But if you keep going down this road, you're going to end up in a bad place. Do you have somebody like that in your life? Somebody who loves you enough, is concerned about you enough, that they're willing to tell you the truth. That's what companionship does. 